Well, unfortunately, the monthly Ashes of Creation livestream was delayed for two more days, really pushing my patience to the limit as we wait for the next piece of information to get my channel through another month of life. Intrepid even gave us this awesome tease for the teaser that is coming on Thursday for the livestream, and we can clearly tell this is a cleric. I mean, what else would it be? It's a cleric wearing a Santa hat. That's the only evidence you need. But this really makes me want to talk about what Ashes of Creation needs from their healers to make them fun and not something that are scarce in the world of era. The cleric in Ashes of Creation is the only healing archetype in the game, so people who want to heal will be playing in this class. A lot of people tend to mistake the bard for a healer as well in Ashes, but the bard is support in the sense of buffing the party. While it probably does have some healing abilities, it's really a class that is meant to help out the holy trinity of heal, tank, and damage by giving all of them support. But anyways, healing in Ashes of Creation needs to feel different. 99% of the time, no matter how you look at it, no matter the game, and no matter what people say, healing is the exact same. You watch your mana, you time your rotations, and cycle through party members who are taking hits. Really, the only difference in healing from game to game is some of the abilities that you can use. But Ashes of Creation has a chance to change it up once again with the hybrid combat. I really don't want to see you have to aim an ability at a single target to heal it. In a raid with already so many moving pieces, that's just one more headache to add to everything, but I would like to see action combat used in a more AoE style heal, charging up abilities to heal the players in front of you or around you, and the longer you charge it for, the stronger the heal is, but the more mana it takes, or potentially having heals that you shoot out a line of whatever spell it may be, and anybody standing in that line gets it, or you could do a cone in front of you, or a wave, or so many meters away from you in a circle heals the people around you. This would allow for the healers to travel from cluster of cluster of people in the raid, dropping quick AoE heals and moving on to the next target, really making sure as the healer that you need to pay attention to where people are standing and the people who need the heals will also want to pay attention to where you are. And with action combat being AoE healing, tab targeting would be more of what you're used to, specialized more towards single target healing. Since the cleric is the only healer class in the game, Intrepid needs to make sure it has all the necessary tools in and out of the raid, especially with leveling. Normally when leveling a healer or a tank in that spec, it is a huge drag and not very fun. You do minimal damage to targets, causing longer fights and more frustration as people are speeding by you leveling. And while the hybrid class system will help combining multiple archetypes, the cleric needs its fair share of melee and ranged attack abilities as well, and not allow the class to always be on the defense. Even if this is done through specking into certain abilities, making your cleric more of a DPS oriented class as you level. I mean, we have seen some melee spells in Alpha 1 for the cleric, but again, this isn't meant to be a big DPS class. You aren't going to make the choice of being DPS when you make your character and pick a cleric. It just doesn't make sense when you have basically five other core DPS options. The real challenge though for Intrepid with the healer is making it not too overly complicated while still being challenged enough and fun enough for players to jump into. Let's face it, as a healer, you're already going to get the blame for every wipe that happens in your party or raid, even if it wasn't actually your fault. It's just the role you have chosen, which is why Intrepid needs to make the healing classes more enticing for players to jump into. In a game without fast travel and new group finders, you'll want healers to be somewhat easy to come by, but the majority of players always go DPS because there's less pressure than tanking or healing on them, but also DPS classes tend to be a lot more fun to play in general, especially when you find yourself in a 1v1 PvP situation. So I think Intrepid really needs to find a balance between fun and challenging that really gets new players to try out healing so we don't end up with a shortage of healers or long wait times putting together groups in this massive world. Healing needs to be more than just watching health bars and smashing buttons. Having some abilities that have players more engaged in the fight itself and not just focusing on the party 100% of the time would be a good way to change it up. Or having bosses offer more mechanics that can utilize the healer's abilities as well, because standing in the back of the room targeting a UI is not a fun way to raid. We really need to get the healers moving around in the raid, other than just avoiding pools of fire, but jumping from group to group, player to player, moving around, engaging with the boss, bouncing heals off the tank, and all sorts of fun stuff like that, really keeping the healers on their toes and moving throughout. But again, making it so it's not too overly complicated for players to jump into. Hopefully in this Friday's live stream, we will finally get our hands on the healer. Well, 
our visual hands. Steven will have his hands on the healer and we'll just be watching Steven really get this class going. Again, like I said in my last video, I would love for this to show some group gameplay and not just Steven healing himself or like target dummy target because you're not going to be able to see how the healer is playing out just off of that it needs to be group gameplay i really hope we see group gameplay if we're even seeing the cleric at all because this is all really just speculation but i think it's a cleric deep down it's a cleric but anyways what do you want to see from healers in ashes of creation drop a comment down below and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetics or just hang out until you can finally jump into the world of vera otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come